guys, so today I thought I'd talk about my best skincare and beauty purchases of all time, products that have been game changers for me, or products that I just got a lot of value out of. Uh, so right off the bat, I'm going to start with this, which is a generic uh, facial silicone cleansing brush device. I looked this up. I bought this seven years ago from Amazon for $7, and it is still going. Listen to that. Hmm. <laughs> Still going seven years later. I will say in various beauty boxes, I've received probably three or four Foreo cleansing devices, um, a couple miniature ones, a couple full-size ones, and none of those have lasted longer than this does. This still works every day, and those Foreos have all died. I had a couple of them that were like the full-size ones that they died like within a few months of using them. I got them all from beauty boxes, so I didn't pay for them, but... For them to sell that device for $200, where I got this for $9, and this one's still going strong, I don't know. So I found a very similar brand to this one, and I linked to it below. I don't think you need to spend $200 on a Foreo, but um, anyway, this has really helped. It amps up every cleanser I use. It makes it more effective. It feels nice when you're using it, and it just does. It just adds oomph to every cleanser when when it's not quite strong enough. This one just gets the job done. So I'm impressed that for $8 seven years ago, this thing's still working, whereas every Foreo I've used has clunked out on me. So I don't know, maybe sometimes you don't get what you pay for. Or I guess in the beauty box, it's kind of free. Okay, next up, the Geek and Gorgeous A-Pad Serum. Uh, if you have never tried as like acid, it's wonderful. I know I talk about this a lot. It was a game changer. Just really helped with all that extra pigmentation was going on. It helped clear my skin. It just was a total game changer. I've kind of moved on from this because this is a weaker azelaic acid derivative. So that's why I say if you're new to azelaic acid, this is a great one to start with. If you're experienced with azelaic acid, you might want to go with something that's not a derivative, something stronger. Uh, since then, uh, a friend of mine sent me the Azclair 20% azelaic acid, which has become even more of a game changer. And I've kind of moved on, but this was the thing that kind of started it all, and I've, to be honest, all of my friends that are into skincare, I've given them bottles of this because it's just so wonderful, such a game changer. And now I'm on to the Ass Clear, which is also great, but I don't know how I'm going to get it next time when I empty it because it's uh, made in Australia. So we'll get to there, although I'm using it faster than I like. Um, okay, next up, the Skin Medica, the TNS line. It's expensive, um, really expensive, but it is an amazing product if... If you have fine lines, wrinkles, need firming of your skin, uh, the, the, their TNS line is undeniably, it's amazing. Their treatment, uh, Ceramide Cream, is the most affordable. I think it retails for around $60, but if you get it on sale, it's usually around like $50. And a little bit of it goes a long way, so this is like my budget TNS product. Or you can get some of the other uh, products. I did a video uh, last week, uh, I think it was 10 products better than the Skin Medica TNS recovery serum and there's some alternatives on there but I still it still was a game changer because this was the first like real growth factor type product I used and it really did make a huge noticeable difference in my skin pretty darn quickly okay next up uh the ordinary multi-peptide serum for hair density I suffered especially a bit in Minnesota when it's dry my skin's already dry the winter is drier and probably using some harsher shampoos than I should. My scalp gets dry in the winter and this serum just alleviates that so much. I don't necessarily know that it does a ton for my what I notice in hair growth. Although there are research studies that show peptides, especially copper peptides, can help with hair follicle growth. Which is actually a complaint for some people that use copper peptides on their face because then they notice hair growth. So there's some truth to it. But... I don't really, I don't use it for the hair growth. I just, it just delivers lightweight, non-greasy hydration to my scalp after cleansing. I, I apply it to damp hair right when I get out of the shower and uh, I apply it to my part and then a little bit to each side and I really don't suffer from the dry scalp as much as I did before. Next up, okay, this one's going to be probably the most expensive one on the list. Uh, the Tria Age Define Wrinkle Laser. I think this was $300 when I got it. It's expensive, but I bought this probably seven years ago. It still works. It still hurts when I use it because I'm a baby. 
but it, it's an amazing little device and I'm too cheap to go to the salon for like real hardcore laser. But to be honest, even if I could afford the real hardcore laser, I don't know if I would want to do that because um, I've heard horror stories of people that really damage their skin like for a long time and just the short term damage and things like that. So this one gives me enough at home where I feel like it's still helping with the fine lines and wrinkles, but I'm not like overdoing it and I don't have to go to a salon to do it. So uh, this one's worked for me for a long time. I will link to it at Tria. Uh, I think I got this one. Sephora was selling Tria for a while. I don't think they do any longer. I think that this is when I got it. So next up, Game Changer Altrino Tretinin Lotion. Uh, I tried uh, Tretinin probably three, four years ago. And it was so drying that I used it twice and then never touched the, the tube ever again because I was terrified of it. Uh, there's a, uh, a, uh, a person, uh, Freedom Life, mentioned that this new product came out. I was instantly interested in it, tried it out, and love it. So this is the first Trentin that hasn't dried my skin out. I'm not afraid to use it. I actually enjoy using it. I see the results from it. And uh, retinoids... Tretinin, it is an amazing ingredient to add into your routine. Not every skin tolerates it as easily, but uh, if you work up to it, I mean, I started with retinol, and then I moved up to retinol, and slowly kind of built in. I started mixing this in with a serum, and then slowly used it on my face, and it is a huge game changer in terms of fine lines, wrinkles, brightness, things like that. So highly recommend you at least give it a whirl before, before you judge it too harshly like I did. Okay, next up we've got the CosRx All-in-One Advanced Snail Cream. It's amazing. It's wonderful. I talk about it in every video, so I don't want to talk about it too much here, but it was a game changer for me. My skin is dry, flaky, especially in the winter, and this stuff calms it, soothes it, hydrates it. It's wonderful. Instantly, the second I put this on, I just, my skin just feels better. So um, if you're vegan, they're the brand V-Green, they have some similar yam-based vegan snail mucin products that might be worth uh, checking out too. So, okay, a couple more. I hate to do this because I'm kind of uh, poo-pooed on this brand a bit, but the Drunk Elephant Proteini from the first time I tried it, this was a game changer moisturizer. It is wonderful. It is fragrance free. It has some great ingredients in it. There's a lot of dupes now uh, that I found as good alternatives. But when I tried this, I was so hooked. I was using like a jar a month. For a long time which got very expensive so <laughs> of course I don't want to get addicted to something too expensive but it is for that time when I used it, it's wonderful now I found several dupes I've done videos on dupes for it but at the time it was a total game changer it still is a wonderful product even though I've kind of soured on the brand a little bit okay two more this one is empty speaking of empties <laughs> So this is going to my empties pile, but uh, the other day I was looking for my uh, uh, empties and to because I'm collecting them for the year, and I realized uh, that cameraman accidentally I had two bags, one as a gift for his niece, and the other was my empty garbage, beauty garbage, beauty trash, mm -hmm. and he accidentally brought the beauty trash for his niece's birthday. I don't know what the heck she thought of it when she opened it because I wasn't there because I was taking care of Ike at the time. Anyway, so she got garbage for her birthday. And I'm missing my empties. So anyway, but this one is empty. But anyway, it's the hey, skin. She liked the garbage. She did like the garbage. It's a lot of good garbage. I mean, heck. <laughs> so anyway, Skin Fix Hand Repair Cream for Eczema. It is wonderful. It's not greasy. It is one of the, I, I am somebody that won't use a hand cream because they feel greasy. I feel slimy. You can't, like, grip things well. This one is just wonderful. It's not greasy at all. It is so hydrating. It's wonderful. It's pricey, but for me, it made me believe in hand lotion for the first time ever because I would never use them because they're greasy and gross feeling. Okay, then next up, we've got the Dr. Jart Bold BB Cream Premium. I actually, my friend just ran over foundation, so I just gave her a few uses of this to try it out. I love it. I've been using this mo as my main foundation now for years. I love it. Every time I try another product or a BB cream or a foundation... It has to compare to this, and pretty much nothing does. I just love this stuff. I know it has fragrant oils in it. I don't notice it at all. And it just looks natural. It feels natural. It has a little bit of SPF in it. 
I love it. I'm hooked. I don't know why the light shade is like out of stock, like almost permanently. So I'm a little freaked out about it. Like I should go and make sure I stock up on it in case it's gone. Because then I don't know what I would do. And you know what? The ones I have to buy is through Sephora because like if you look on the K-Beauty sites, they have ones similar to this, but the formula is different. It's way more scented. So, and then last but not least, I don't necessarily want to like prop this product too much but it's the babe lash essential lash girl serum and i don't really use it i don't use it anymore on my lashes i use it on my eyebrows because my eyes start to get sensitive to this and the prostaglandins and ingredients that help your lashes grow can make your eyes get dry and irritated so i don't really use it anymore but at the time this was amazing like my lashes when i use this were so freaking long i didn't even have to put mascara on but sadly sadly it's like everything good in life you have to quit at some point chocolate caffeine i don't know and this stuff I have to quit. But it still at the time was an amazing product for me. And for people that don't have sensitive eyes, it might be good. I don't really do your research before using them on your eyes. Because it can make your eyes dry. And some, some of those issues don't clear up after you stop using it. So, anyway. Okay, so these are my game changers. Best skincare and beauty purchases of all time. Interested in hearing from you guys what your, like, top five, top three skincare beauty purchases of all time were do you have any i hope so because everyone deserves to have something that's game changing that really helps make their life and routine easier so anyway leave a comment with yours love hearing from you and stay tuned for more tomorrow thank you so much bye guys